Hello everyone and welcome back to Aviation A to Z. Today we will see what benefit we will get if our licensed AME course got the BAC AME recognition and how it will help everyone in aviation industry as well as outside in other sector. So let us get started. First of all, many people have doubt whether we will get it or not or how they are going to provide it. Many are saying it's fake and all, but let's wait for official statement of DGCA because something is happening in our profile and it's well and good if we got BAC AME graduation. And I will tell you why we should get it. So watch this video till end. Now let us see what benefit we will get of BAC AME outside aviation field. Now move on, we will be called graduate. We all know that AME course is neither a degree nor a graduation course but it's a license course and there is long long struggle to acquire it. Nowadays it's hard to get even job so if we get this graduation tag then we can apply anywhere whenever a graduation course is required. And believe me if we get this then we will no more be just 12 pass but a graduate student. Number 2. You can apply for government exams. There are many states and national level government exams, even railway higher position require the graduation. And with BAC AME, you can apply in UPSC, forest department, even in banking sector exams. And if you clear these exams, actually you can follow your passion and get a secure job. Number 3. You can go for higher education. If we complete the AME course and get the job, then we are restricted to this field only and sadly in engineering department only. But if we got BAC AME, we can actually do higher studies like masters in particular field of interest, also MBA and you can get reputed job in some bright companies. Also you can go further for PhD and R&D department to follow your goals in your field of interest. Now a big question arises, if we wanted to do anything else then why we took admission in AME course? Yes, it's a valid question but I will tell you the reality of this field. Not everyone gets what they deserve here and it's true for every field. But if we have BSc certificate then we can switch from this field to other field immediately. Because there are less jobs in our field and more candidates and I have seen my seniors and super seniors sitting at home or doing family business or just a part time job and it's sad as after spending lack of rupees and clearing DGC modules and 2-3 to three years of hard work what we are getting just a struggle lots of struggle. But if we got PSE AME recognition then we can temporarily work in some organization and earn for living. And believe me, many students are from really poor and middle class family. They cannot afford to wait for years to get into this field. With graduation we can work anywhere we want and at least earn something and if got vacancy update then we can join the airline or MRO to pursue the goal of becoming AME. Now, if you want to stay in aviation, then also BSE AME can help to get job in it. And let's see where you can apply in it. First, you can apply for quality control or assurance department jobs. With this graduate degree, you can actually apply for QC or QA department. And your chances of getting selected increases with graduation. The role is simple here. The quality assurance department makes sure that all activities like flight operations, aircraft maintenance including checks, repair, inspection and training of personnel are being conducted in accordance with standard procedures. Also there are various positions such as quality manager, quality auditor, quality assistant and various deputy post of post mentioned here. So if you want to stay in aviation and not getting job in engineering department then quality department is the best option for you. Number 2. Apply for management level positions. The airline and MRO industry runs smoothly because of strong management and people working in it. There are various positions in various departments in aviation industry and few to name are general manager, general deputy manager, Junior Executive Officer, Chief Executive Officer, Ticketing Manager, Crew Manager, Flight Operation Manager, Airport Manager, Head of Department etc. And if you open career page of airlines and MROs, there you will find many times vacancies for such management portfolios. At number 3, we have ATC Services. 
You cannot become air traffic controller with BSc AME, but there are various other posts such as Junior Executive Engineering Department, Flight Inspector, Junior Assistant for Fire Service, Junior Executive for Advertisement, Consultant in Air Traffic Management, etc. Recently, Airport Authority of India has posted 360 plus vacancies for graduates and BTEC holders. So you can apply in it. If you want a detailed video on it, then please comment about it in a comment section of this video. Number 4. You can apply for various airport jobs. There are hundreds of airport jobs requiring BSc in eligibility criteria and if we get BSc in AME then it will help to get such jobs at airport. Few to name are passenger assistant, airline food service provider, baggage handler, airline reservation agent, airport manager, airport safety manager or airport operation manager etc. Some posts mentioned here require masters and MBA and you can do it only if you are graduate. So this were some positions and jobs we will get if we got BSc AMA recognition and equivalent status. Also we can apply for many other positions not mentioned here. See I agree with many people that if we came in this field then we must continue it and I also think it in same way but every person has different situation. Many students took admission and were unaware about the struggle this field asked for. Many don't know what they will do in this field. So if we get this BAC AME, then there will be really a great opportunity for everyone. Aviation is safest because it has lot of backup and it is good if we have one backup in a form of BAC degree. So instead of discussing it's wrong or right, let's hope we get it. And if not, then we will continue our fight which MAG has started to make our course equivalent to diploma or BAC or at least degree. That was all about BAC AME. If you got any update on it, then we will surely provide it and tell you quickly. So subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to receive such notification. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it and share it with everyone. And if you are still watching, then here is your bonus. So far we know that till 2013 candidates are getting updates in their profile. Not all but many candidates got it. Some have been written with BSc AME, some BSc AME diploma or diploma and along with percentage. That percentage is your semester result which college provide to DGCA. So hope that we will soon get it updated and DGCA in some form issue a certificate stating that this BSc AME course is approved by UGC or AICT because UGC are ready to recognize our course equivalent to BAC and let's hope that DGCA and UGC both agree see it. That was all for today. Finally, thanks for watching. See you soon with another interesting topic. Till then, keep learning, keep watching, stay safe. Jai Hind.